Some hose pumps use rollers and others use shoes. Which option is right for you? This video will shed some light. Peristaltic pump technology was derived over a century ago and is based upon the biological process of peristalsis. The first peristaltic pumps used roller assemblies to sequentially compress a tube or thin walled hose. Today, rollers are common in thin walled tubing pumps. However, as peristaltic pump technology has advanced, most major hose pumps use pressing shoe technology for hose compression. There are a number of reasons why shoe technology is preferred, the primary benefit being increased hose life. Pump hoses are designed to withstand the fatigue imposed by millions of cycles of compression and restitution. Fatigue is increased by factors which cause stress to the hose. Stress is calculated by dividing the force over an area. The larger the area over which a compression force is applied, the lower the resultant stress and fatigue. Elliptical shoes have a greater area of interface with the hose than a roller, so it's clear that the pressing shoe will induce less fatigue on the hose and result in longer hose life. Another major advantage of shoes is their simplicity. Often shoes are integrated into the rotor for a one-piece assembly. Larger pumps have detachable shoes that can be shimmed. Shoe pumps incorporate a lubricant bath as well that provides some diluting effect should the hose develop a leak. Roller style pumps, however, have complicated roller assemblies that create several additional moving parts that are subject to wear and failure. Roller pumps are generally non-lubricated, offering no chemical dilution at hose failure which will subject the roller assemblies to attack by concentrated chemical. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to check out more video content from Burger.